from Mountain Resort Television. This is Lake Tahoe Newsline, featuring lifestyle news and events in and around Lake Tahoe. We're here in the Carson Valley today at the Nature Conservancy where we have uh, just one of our many recreational trails. Uh, we work with a lot of different organizations. Uh, Carson Valley Trails Association is one of them. Uh, Carson Valley Trails Association has built close to 50 miles of new trail down here in the valley. The organization focuses on trails for non-motorized users, which means mountain bikers, hikers, and equestrians. One of the places you can find information on some of the non-motorized trails down here in the Carson Valley is the Carson Valley Trails Association website, and that is carsonvalleytrails.org. Hi, I'm Deborah Lang, and I'm co-champion of Outdoor Recreational Opportunities for Douglas County. And I'm here today to tell you about some of those outdoor recreational opportunities, aside from non-motorized trails. And in speaking with George Swetland, he's the president of the Pine Nut Mountains Trails Association, he's informed me that we have several very well-marked access points into the Pine Nuts, actual trailheads with approved parking, and once you're on those trails, there are literally hundreds of miles of riding opportunity in the Pine Nuts. We have the East Fork of the Carson River. And in the East Fork of the Carson River, we have Rainbow, Brown, Brook, and our very own Lahontan Cutthroat Trout. Fishing opportunities include fly fishing, lure fishing, and bait fishing. As well as at Topaz Lake, we have smallmouth bass. Angler's Edge is our expert in that regard and would be more than happy to help you with any equipment, guides, any expertise, or if you just want a good fish story. We also have boating opportunities, fabulous rafting, kayaking, canoeing opportunity. It starts as soon as really the, the ice begins to melt and at that time of the year it can be a rather ferocious river. It calms down later on and there's tube floating opportunities if you would like. And then if you want to experience a lake version of boating, we have Topaz Lake. You can use motorized vehicles. It's a very popular destination for wakeboarding and water skiing but also kayaking, canoeing, and there is a lot of windsurfing components to that particular lake. All of this information is available to you on visitcarsonvalley.org. We would love for you to come see what we have in that regard. On today's trail guide, we will be featuring the Corral Trail. The Corral Area Trails has a high density of trails for all ability levels and serves as the unofficial hub of mountain bike activity in South Lake Tahoe. The trails all run parallel to the Fountain Place paved road, so with only moderate climbing involved, these trails can keep anyone interested for hours. You will find the largest amount of legal features including log rides, jumps, large berms, and rock rolls in South Tahoe. Most people do not ride up these trails, so be cautious if you do ride uphill here. Directions from town, take Pioneer Trail towards Myers. Turn left onto Oneida Street. After passing a few houses, this turns into a paved forest service road called Fountain Place. Follow for about half a mile and park in the dirt parking lot on the left just past the creek crossing. 